So I try to put out about one video a month and usually fall short of that by an extra 50%. This one I'm working on now is all about dancing on different counts and stepping so that you don't lose the beat and it's taking an absolute eternity. So today, for the sake of putting out a video, we're gonna do something a little different. Suelta. So if you're dancing solo and you're looking to mix up the dynamic a little bit, a good way of doing that is incorporating rumba. So today we're going to take some movements from Walman Cole and Columbia. We're going to go from a forward and back. One, two, three. So stagger the left foot on three. Five, I'm going to take my right foot, bring it behind my left, and just unwind with a hook turn and come out facing forward. So I've got one, two, three, hook, six, seven. I'm just going to let the weight transfer from my left foot over to my right foot, come out facing forward. If I want to add the arm, it's gonna be opposite. So I got one, two, three. I'm gonna be stepping with the right. So the left arm's gonna go up, right one stays low. Change the weight, come out facing forward. And this is where I'm gonna change my posture. Well, Wamoko is very grounded and dance with soft knees and a little bit of a forward bend, which is known as a folkloric posture. Roomba is not up here. Roomba is more down here. So I've got more of a forward lean and softer knees. So I'm gonna do that with a drop. It's gonna come straight off the hook turn. One, two, three, five, six, drop. And that's where I get into dancing Roomba. So the drop is just like your body shuts off and your legs catch you at the last minute. The body position you want is just bent knees and hinging forward at the hip. So you don't want to lose your chest. You want a good posture through your torso. So we go. One, two, three, five, six, drop. And we're gonna take a step from Roomba where we just move to our left. So this step is kind of annoying to learn it first, but it's gonna go in place with the left, and then out with the left, in place with the right, together with the right. One, three, five, seven, one, three, five, seven. And I'm just doing a generic opposite coordination just to get your body used to moving in that way. The coordination for Walmart Co is a little bit difficult to get at first, so you're pressing into the ground on one and five, and you're changing the weight and stepping on three and seven. And on one and five, your arms are going opposite for whatever foot is moving. So if you're pressing with the left foot, the right arm's free. If you're pressing with the right foot, the left arm's free. Men and women have their own unique movements, which we're gonna show later, but the coordination's opposite hand, opposite foot. So off the drop, we get one, three, five, seven, one, three, five, seven. So the weight change is happening on three and seven. One and five are just kind of in place. So after you practice that 6,000 times, if you haven't done it before, because it's very annoying to learn, we come back to the sequence, and we got one, two, three, five, six, drop, in place, out, in place, together, in place, out, and we're gonna add a little piece of footwork here. We're gonna take the right knee and point it in, and then we're gonna twist it out. And then to add the arms to it to make a little bit more Roomba-ish, the guys are gonna have an imaginary um, handkerchief. So men and women have different movements in one one co. The coordination is still opposite. So if I'm stepping with my left foot, the left hand is going to stay low and the right arm is free to do whatever. So for the men, the hand that stays down is going to be grabbing the pants. It's like you're wearing pants that are too long and you're just trying to pull them up. The hand that's free, you've got your pañuelo or your imaginary one and you're just kind of shaking it out. You can go up, you can go out to the side, whatever. You can clean yourself, but the movement is very frivolous and confusing, like you just don't care. So we're gonna shake it out on one, three, and then we're gonna go with the left hand, in and down, five, and then reverse and bring it behind the back for seven. So we've got one, three, five, seven, and then on one, as we're bringing the arm behind the back, seven, one, we're gonna clean our neck with our imaginary handkerchief with the right hand. So all together, we've got one, three, five, seven, one, three, and then for in and out, I'm gonna bring my left arm up, right one goes to the pants for in, and then twist out. This movement's taken from a different Roomba called Columbia, which has more of a flamenco posture, and we're gonna use that to get back to being more upright how we started. And then here to get back to a forward and back, step, tap, one, two, three. And we're back to the basic. So the whole thing underwater goes one, two, three, five, six, drop. One, three, five, seven, one, 
three, in, out. Step, tap, one, two, three. So if I soften some of the movements, I can adapt a version for the ladies. I'll do forward and back, and instead of grabbing the pants for the hook, I'm gonna take my right hand and just put it on my hip. Hook turn, drop, and I'm gonna go one arm for the first step, both arms and the hip for the second step, and I'm gonna change the steps to swivel. I'll go across with both arms, and then swivel, I'll just go with my left arm. And then for the last part, I'm gonna bring the left arm up, right hand to the hip, knee goes in, and knee goes out. So for the women, if you're using two arm movements, it's representing kind of a flowing dress and you're giving and taking away. And you can occasionally have some fast movements, but it's a little bit more controlled than a guy. It's not quite as frivolous. So if you look up Wamoko, the ladies have to always be on guard. So if you're doing one arm movements, the free hand is still representing that dress and the other hand is covering. And it's not covering your belly button. So all together, it would be one, two, three, hand on the hip for the hook, five, six, drop on seven, right arm, both arms in the hip, across, across, in, out. So when we do this to music, it's really gonna highlight the difference in the cadence of how we step for Roomba versus when we're dancing one, two, three, five, six, seven. We're gonna take a little bit of a faster song, but based on how we step Roomba, it's effectively gonna cut the tempo in half. So I'm gonna do the guy's version and I'm gonna do my best to do the ladies part. I'm not feeling particularly in touch with my feminine side today, which is about a one in a million, but you know, go figure. out of here thank you for all the new patrons on patreon it helps keep the videos coming i just started putting up recap videos of what we do in the classes every week so that'll be kisomba and semba in addition to casino but anyway kind of a departure from what we typically do on the channel but if you enjoyed it please let me know in a comment if you want to see more swelter sequences or you want to see a video dedicated just to rumba wamanko columbia whatever i'm down thank you to paula for the music see you on the next one Sawa 